Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mod of Ada. Get out of the way. We need more water, but that's fine. We're heading up to Green Top Nursery now anyway to help defend an attempt to help defend it. I'm pretty sure it'll be a vain attempt. But we're gonna try at least. Honestly, by the time we fight our way through everything between here and there, it'll probably have either saved or succeeded or failed on its own, but I give it enough energy that, uh, or enough defenses, it should be able to defend itself. But, well, this is Fallout, and things don't work quite that, quite as well as you might, don't always work quite as well as you would hope they would. Um, if you've ever played, uh, X3 Terran Conflict, or any of the X3 games, X-Series, sorry, except for, um, Rebirth, which doesn't act the same way the others do, a lot of their out-of-sector combat, which is basically, the game's divided into sectors, and if the player's in it, things operate differently than they do if they're out-of-sector, uh, physics occur, essentially. But if you're out of sector, everything is determined. Excuse me. Uh, basically, numerically. So. Alright, we need to head north. Ooh, dead center. Uh, convert it to what is my question. Uh, leave the rest of the stuff. So let's head this way. Now I'm gonna want a gun because we should probably be heading through hostile territory here. Um. Anyway, out of sector combat is determined entirely on numbers rather than uh, right. Uh, annual hall or through the. No, let's cut this way because we can uh, swing away. I believe we can actually go. Let's check our map again. Yeah, we can actually go this way, and then turn left. And I believe it's possible to avoid the raiders here by going past um, Old North Church here. Yeah, should should be should work all right. If I had a jetpack, it'd be easier. I could just fly across the river at any point. About it that way. Uh, nope, that's the cemetery. I don't want to go through there because it's full of ghouls. Why exactly the, the cemetery is full of ghouls when ghouls are supposed to be living humans that have been mutated and had their brains rotted, I don't know, but there you go. Uh, that's the bridge that'll lead us to. Hill, which leads us out of Boston. Right, so let's put this away and let's get a bit of a move on. <coughs> yeah, we keep losing the Silver Shroud signal, which is not exactly the worst thing that can happen, although. I will eventually do the Silver Shroud quest because it's really because I think it's a very fun quest, especially one particular part. But it's, like many things, it's one I don't want to do until I have completed the castle and old guns. Right. So I'm gonna head this way. That's the... I know what, know what that is. That bridge is a little far away, so let's just uh, duck through the water here. Sh should be doable. Uh, might be a little... It's always a little tricky getting up the other side of a riverbed, but... It's usually pretty doable if you pay attention to the floor. Probably quicker ways to. I don't want to get go into the fish packing plant. Not the, not a fish packing plant. I think it's one of the um, it's a boat construction plant. But it's lots of 
has the bugs there, and I don't want to uh, deal with them. And we're gonna pop up entirely too close. Let's head this way. Uh, we're actually on. Oh, I know where that is. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there either. Uh, I think this is the right road to take. Although there may be a death claw, so let's break out the gun and I need food. Uh, uh, Soul Survivor needs food badly, apparently. There we go, let's have an omelet. We're rushing off to help defend Green Top Nursery, but we can stop and have a, stop and eat an entire omelet. Uh Brahmin, right? Some of the very few wild Brahmin around. Uh, that's a red scorpion. Brilliant. Yep, because this wasn't going badly enough. I'm rather purposely avoiding certain parts of the map I know to be extremely hazardous. Ah. We may have some trouble. Right, yeah, he's gonna pop up in a second. Got it. Okay. Red scorpion meat and get move on again. Ah, uh, this is gonna take us right past med tech, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Nuts. Uh, don't wanna be there. Uh, there we go. We'll go this way. Should be able to skirt around it without triggering anything that's there. Medtech's kind of an interesting place. To, it's not entirely useless outside of a quest, but all the best stuff requires a quest. And it requires a quest of my least favorite companion in Fallout 4. I find him only slightly less annoying than, say, Arcade Ganon in Fallout New Vegas. So, yeah. Why do I have two quest markers in this direction? I don't know. I hear Fomans. Yeah. Whoa! Somebody's here with, uh... Whoa! Oh, Rust Devils. Saltron Demon. Those are always fun. Saltron Devil. A lot of Assaultrons hereabouts. Uh, oh, that's a super... Alright, that's the super unit at the false settlement. There's a... Raycart Banks. It's just up the road. And it pretends to be a settlement, but it's not. It's actually... You know, since we're right here, we can basically scrap everything. Loot everything. Stuff. Drink a bit of water. Reload this. Uh, I actually killed somebody inside of here, but I suspect that was the settler who did it. Ha! Huh, there we are. Yeah, I noticed. Don't worry about it. We will deal with that momentarily. I'll also have to check and make sure all the turrets are still functional. Right. Uh, we should have, I believe, enough stuff to properly outfit the remaining settler in something a little bit better than default gear. So let us inventory. Uh, let's take that. Let's go over here. Let's... Right, what's the Explorer outfit look like? Uh, 
Ti. Eh, not so much. Uh, road leathers. Yeah, road leathers look fine. Take that stuff. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's put you in military fit. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, you can't have my helmet. But you can have the sentry bot helmet. Let's see. I got... Robot... Oh, wait. No. Let's do... No, let's do light armor if we can. One of each. And that. And then... Ah, that, and that, and I'll take those, there we are, all kitted out in light armor, uh, she needs a gun though, <coughs> you know what, there, go ahead and have that, and I will give you, uh, ten rounds, yeah, 10 rounds should be enough. Oops. There we go. Oop. Yeah, I know I'm overcovered. I'll deal with it in just a second. Uh, T, and I'll take that. Thank you very much. Alright, so now she should be able to... Uh, ah, crudsicles. Back up, back up. Yes, I know. You don't have to complain, I can tell. It's the wrong button to, pr button to press. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Is there a... Ooh. Hello? What do we got here? Uh, right. Workshop now contains nothing. Uh, oh wait, I have a workshop here. And it's linked to other settlements, so I can simply go to furniture. <coughs> Containers. Is there a post, off, post box? <gasps> yeah, I know, I know. Uh, new stand. Quite what I was looking for. Uh, come on. It's gotta be a mailbox. Alright, I guess I'll use the new stand. It looks... A hollow out rock. Okay. Uh, yeah. New stand is going to become a... Very special item. What's it going to be? Why? Well, it's very simple. This is going to be where I put all the stuff I want to send from various. send between settlements. So, because uh, I have salvage beacons, I can do it that way instead of having to mess around with provisioners too much. Now I can take all the stuff that I want to basically keep and break down else. What was that converted to? 45. Not actually a bad... Excuse me, not a bad weapon as pipe pistols go. So I can take all this stuff and... Not that. Uh, not those. Uh, that can go... No, that can go back. But this way, I will always have a box. Like, I, I prefer... I would prefer the mailbox, but... Oh, yeah, because this place grows a ludicrous amount of food. Right. Uh, actually, we can send back all but, say, 120 of these. Or send it all back... Send back all but 20 of these. And then... One settlement beacon. Same as last time. So... We'll see a... Yep, beacon pot. Beacon placed. I love the fact that it actually works properly. So, now we need to head back to Red Rocket ourselves. Uh, right. And, you know what, now that we've actually def defended the place, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, I'm gonna put my helmet on. My proper helmet, thank you. And we're gonna go have a, re have a couple hours sleep, and if it... I suggest we take as much as we can get. Yeah. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, a good four hours rest should be sufficient. Uh, hang on, I'll be right back.
<coughs> Sorry about that. Um, right, so. Where did I park my power armor? There it is. Ah, and... Oh, my salvage sheep. Okay, sweet. So, we're gonna strap on our power armor. Ignoring the man in the funny yellow hat. And then we're gonna head on back to Red Rocket. Uh, so, we need to plan out a path here so I don't die horribly. Uh, yeah, we're gonna swing around the north side of Dark Hollow. Uh, no, we're gonna basically go stomping across Dark Hollow Pond again. I don't want to take the risk of getting too close to General Atomic Galleria. Uh, there's actually a... Another building, if, if you go into it, you can find the stuff that you need to actually do the Galleria properly, and I just can't remember where it's at, so... If you don't know what the Galleria is, uh... I... Oxhorn, Oxhorn may have done a video on it. But I haven't looked. If not, I should. I'm, gonna, if, I'm actually going to look, and if he hasn't done it, I'm going to suggest that he uh, do a do a video on it. But if not, it's basically the giant Mr. Handy up there, and it tends to turn into a fight. I mean, every time I've ever gone in there, it's turned into a fight. Admittedly, no small part of that is because I don't tend to play the most charismatic characters on the planet. And, uh, it requires a fair bit of charisma to get in there without getting yourself killed. Uh, and there we go. And now you step into, jump into gear and get a move on to a back toward Red Rocket. Uh, speaking of which, uh, there's outpost to Manja. We need to go there and deal with that guy. Uh, yes. Uh, Preston asked us to set up a settlement there, and but we would now. But uh, we're not. We're we're not properly armed for it. And by properly armed, I mean we're not carrying a rocket launcher. Ideally, I want a targeting rocket launcher with the four barrel attachment, so I can basically spam fire and kill him. And kill the kill the local leader instantly, but, uh, well, we'll, s we'll see why he's such a problem next time. Ah, uh, okay, there's Skylanes. We've been through here once or twice, so everything should be dead, but, uh, well, this is a Fallout game, and more importantly, it's a Bethesda Fallout game, and things that should be dead have a tendency to not stay that way. Uh, let's see. So we're basically heading beelining straight for... Uh, have we, I don't know if we've been up there and killed those guys. Um, I don't really know that I want to bother. I mean, they don't shoot at us until we actually go up there. And it's just going to end up prolonging the video, and I'd rather not do that just at the moment, so let's go ahead and throw our power armor up and get a move on. I really need the overdriven. If it weren't for the fact that I'm constantly over-encumbered, I would go ahead and Kelly and Who's Kelly? She doesn't seem hostile, but... Well, naturally, we know this for a fact that can change. But hello, Kelly. Excuse me, uh, sir. Would you happen to know the way to Bunker Hill? Uh, yes, actually. I do. It's over this way. Your assistance is appreciated. Thank you. Kelly? Hi. Well, hold up a minute. Hmm. I've got a really top-tier piece of cow flesh for sale. If you know what I mean. Oh. What for? What would I do with a Brahmin? What would you do with a... Oh, you're serious? Yeah. Well, whatever you want. Some people use them for farming, I hear. Increases productivity quite a bit. That's what I hear, at least. Yeah. Well, sure, I'll buy you a Brahmin. Sure, I'll take her. Oh, great, great. 
Just tell me where you want me to send her, and she's all yours. Uh, Herbert Nancy Farm, actually. Good doing business with you, ma'am. I'm sure I'll see you around. Yeah. Because if the problem doesn't turn up, I'll see you around, and you probably won't see the bullets. The other guy was actually an escaped institute synth. I presume you escaped anyway. You can tell by the institute clothing. Uh, Bunker Hill is the basically the starter point for the. Oh good, I hear more bulleting. Oh what is Fred O'Connell? Fred O'Connell. Okay, what are you guys fighting? Ah, raiders. Right. Hello. Excuse me. Ah, they won't be needing those items any longer. Ah, well, yeah, he's clearly not using his. Sunglasses. Raiders in the stim pack. Where's Mr. O'Connell? Ah, uh, excuse me, Mr. O'Connell. Sorry. <coughs> Don't have anything to sell. I'm on my way to Vault 81. We stop. Maybe you can find what you need there. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I think we already had that bad marker, but that's okay. Never hurts to have it more than once. Uh, so that's what he is. He's a trader from Vault 81. I know there's there's one other that's actually guaranteed to spawn, and we'll give you the map marker. Uh, right. Zamancha's actually. Over there, you can just see the radio tower that marks it. Like I said, we'll get that within the next couple of episodes, I think. Uh, don't want to go there until we're properly armed for the task. Uh, yeah, let's skirt north around uh, radius U.S. Air Force Olivia. Probably could cut out some of this travel time, but then I miss important things, and I don't know. I know that I know this is boring, so I find it fascinating to go walking across the Commonwealth, but I know not everybody does. <coughs> especially, especially because even after everything has been killed, you will still occasionally find random encounters. Let's have some pistol instead. I just feel I feel in pistol mode. I mean, pistol. Uh, pistol move, I should say. Not should say, but I'm trying to say. Are you dweebs fighting the roll rats again? You can tell when the... Oops. You can tell when they are, because they're basically... You'll see an explosion where they try and fail to kill a roll rat. It's actually kind of funny. Because some of the mole rat, at least one mole rat over there is rigged with explosives. Oh my goodness. Ah, mole rats versus blowflies. So I'm not getting involved in that fight. Not unless I'm firing artillery into the middle of the mix. Because, yeah, none of them are easy to hit. So, let's go ahead and keep heading toward, heading off this way. Oops, uh, well, my fingers got stuck. I was busy trying to go forward one way and sideways the other way and started strafing, which does not work anymore. It used to be you could circle strafe with the old controllers and basically turn slightly and move and it was actually faster than walking in a straight line, but I don't think it works anymore. Water looks a lot more turgid when it's distant than it does when it's up close. Not sure if that's intentional or not. I hear... I hear... Ada... Ada's gone off to play with... Ada has gone off to play with some enemies. She is, of course, perfectly welcome to do so. What are you idiots doing? No, that's kind of a mean thought. I shouldn't. 
big comments like that. They're just trying to do their best to help the Commonwealth. Of course, with my luck, what'll happen is it'll come up into the back of a, of a random attack on Red Rocket. Just remember, if you prove yourselves hostile, the automated defenses will shred you. Speaking of which, I could use some upgrades to my automated defenses. But for right now, I'm actually going to come in here. I apparently have a settler. Uh, why? Or rather, what is exactly is the settler doing here? Excuse me. Oh, it's a salvager. Alright, fair enough. Right. So. We do have one overdue book. Is it a quest item? It's not. Alright. That's the one uh, Daisy asked us to turn in. Fair enough. Uh, get your brown out of my way. Move. Go away. Stupid Brahmin. Right. Anyway, so we're gonna park the power armor. I am going to have a rest. And then in the next episode, we are going to uh, deal with out Outpost Zamanja quickly, and then we will strap on our power armor and uh, head, into the, head south toward the Glowing Sea. But first, I think we may stop in with... Uh, I want to stop in with the Brotherhood because I want access to vertebrates because vertebrates are awesome. Alright, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.